Hi, uh, my name is Alexander Grandal and uh, I'm a producer on BF3. Today we're showing off a new map, it's called Operation Firestorm and we're playing this in Conquest game mode. Uh, Operation Firestorm, you could say, is a good old classical battlefield map. It has all the ingredients, it has uh, open areas, it has uh, airplanes, choppers, tanks, you name it. Um, this, uh, this map is also one of the bigger maps we have. Uh, currently we're playing 64 player uh, version with five, six control points. And um, it is a bit of our philosophy here that uh, every single control point contains some interesting gameplay, which means that you have to mix it up a bit when you move around. So uh, even though this is a vehicle map, it also has these warehouses around where um, there will be some intense um, infantry fighting going on. Uh, this is also a map where the vehicle unlocks really, really gets to shine. Uh, it makes a real big difference to the vehicle you're uh, playing with, what kind of unlocks you're uh, using for it. Um, for instance, if uh, on this tank you can have uh, a smoke screen which uh, removes any sort of targeting uh, towards you, you can have the um, the uh, machine gun, which uh, helps you take down infantry a little bit easier. You can have the heavy machine gun, which is sort of a more long range uh, fighting. Uh, you can um, have canister shells. Yeah, there's quite a lot to, uh, to go on uh, per vehicle. So it's always the balance here where uh, when you pick your kit, even though you're on the ground, do you want to focus on trying to take out the infantry or do you want to try and uh, uh, take out the vehicles and uh, as an engineer you also can choose to go with the stinger if you really hate those pesky flying uh, vehicles. You also try to find this, um, this good balance where, um, where all, um, all vehicles play their role. So. So as a, as a fighter, you might take down the chopper, and the chopper is supposed to take down the tank. And, um, and at the infantry level at the bottom is that where the production uh, goes down. So right now we're trying to capture uh, this point, the warehouses. And to capture a point, you just stand inside the um, capture radius until you uh, fill out the uh, circular uh, icon in the middle. And you have to be the dominant force in the area to capture the flag. Yeah, so here we have the Russian transport helicopter. This one is equipped with um, with uh, miniguns on the side. It's really good to take out infantry and also to bring your uh, squad mates into the combat. Right now it looks like the Russian team that we're playing is um, in control of most of the flags. But as you know in Battlefield these things might change quite fast. When you're flying in a transport heli, you really want to be uh, uh, paying attention to other flying vehicles. And, um, especially the attack helicopters and the jet planes. They can take you down pretty easily. Another thing you'll you'll notice on this map is the uh, really long viewing distance we have. Uh, this is probably as long as uh, we've ever had in a, in a Battlefield game. This is because of the Frostbite 2 engine allows us to do this, uh, this big huge terrains, which we know that the Battlefield players really enjoy. Let's see, let's get in a tank here. 
So as a tank, you have, uh, as I mentioned previously, you can choose different kinds of unlocks uh, on your tank. Right now, this tank is equipped with a, with a light machine gun and also uh, explosive, uh, normal explosive rounds. The vehicles also can uh, sprint, well, boost, which gives them a, um, a speed boost while you're uh, doing it. The, the drawback here is that you lose a little bit of the finesse and control while doing it. So it's a balance act when you're, um, when you're doing this, but it, to get quickly from A to B, you might want to hurry up. This map also allows for quite a few unique playstyles. Um, this crane on top that you see to your left there is a favorite sniper position on this map. And uh, what I like to do is to take uh, the helicopter or the plane and just do a clean sweep on the, uh, on the crane. But um, like I said, the map also uh, gives you the option of playing pretty much how you want to play. If you want to play out in the open, you're more than welcome to do so, but it has quite a lot of um, alternate routes for you, so you don't have to necessarily be completely out in the open. Of course, repairing yourself is always a risky thing to do. You have to go out of the tank and uh, use your repair tool and uh, snipers love to take you out at that point. Anyways, I would say that this is um, this is a very much a classic battlefield in, uh, in many ways. But of course, bringing the new unique features of Battlefield 3 into it. Also, this um, will be running all game modes on all maps, so you'll be experiencing this map in quite a few different ways. Um, right now, it, with the 64-player Conquest, it's, uh, you're, you're basically using the, the complete map, but for instance, for, for uh, Team Deathmatch and uh, game modes that require smaller spaces, we define new areas for you to play in. And uh, the interesting thing there is that uh, one area that plays in a very specific way during Conquest plays completely different when you're playing it in Team Deathmatch, for example. Turn on the jets. How do I switch to you? See. Yes. We turn on the jets. And also, uh, while well, this is on PC, there's also jets on consoles, which is really cool. Now, as a jet, you really want to pay attention to other jets and Heat Seekers, which is your, um, uh, your number one enemy in this game. And so all Jets, um, you can unlock flares with them, so of course you can um, get those Heat Seekers off your back. You also have laser-guided missiles and, um, and your machine gun on the jet. All right, I hope you uh, enjoyed our little preview of uh, Operation Firestorm. And, uh, 
you will all be able to play it in not too long. <laughs>